is happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. 2015 is the year of the drone, and what better way to celebrate that fact than with the world's first drone-based multiplayer game called Drone in Base. Welcome to the world's first multiplayer race. Drone in Base claims to be an affordable indoor game controlled via mobile device and created for everyone. The interactive bases for the drones have multiple functions and can be used as racing checkpoints, power-ups, or as a shooting target. Each drone has a built-in infrared cannon which shoots invisible light beams that can take out other drones during the game. The drones are made with a durable plastic to protect them from breaking during violent crashes. Each drone comes with a base, four spare propellers, two batteries, and a charger. They use low-powered Bluetooth technology to communicate with your mobile device and have a range of up to 30 meters. Drone and Base comes ready to fly right out of the box and will be available soon for the holiday season. Not sure of the price yet. On Wednesday morning around 9 a.m. Pacific time, NASA's Cassini spacecraft did a close encounter flyby of Saturn's moon Enceladus, which is believed to have elements of habitability within its global ocean. Cassini flew about 30 miles above the surface of Enceladus, traveling at a speed of around 19,000 miles per hour, and passed through a large plume of gas and water that is constantly blasting out of the bottom of the shell of the moon. Cassini was used to analyze particles and gases to determine what makes up the surface of Enceladus, whether it be hydrogen, H2O, and methane, which are just a few of the building blocks for life. Keep checking back to Crave for updates on what they found on the moon of Enceladus. This may be the slowest Rube Goldberg machine ever created. Inventor Bob Partington built what he calls the Rube Slowberg machine and produced a video for the YouTube channel Field Day to show off just how slow the Rube Slowberg machine really is. I mean, the machine uses grass growing to push the ball along. That is painstakingly slow. In the end, the Rube Slowberg machine took about six weeks to complete. So I invite you to go to the Crave blog post to watch how the machine ends and check out links to other crafty Rube Goldberg machines that Crave has covered in the past. A group of self-proclaimed robot fans have built a robotic arm that can see, think, and learn in an attempt to make robots more accessible for everyone in both education and research. The seven-bot robotic arm has raised almost 400% of their goal on Kickstarter and is showing no signs of letting up. The seven-bot has six degrees of freedom and is modeled after the classic larger industrial robots you find in car manufacturing. The body is made entirely of aluminum and is highly rated for endurance and durability. The optimized control algorithm makes the robot's movements very smooth and accurate, allowing the robot to perform very delicate tasks. Sevenbot can see its environment and through the use of AI software can learn colors, shapes, and be taught to make certain movements without having to program the robot. The Sevenbot software is open source and with the help of the Connect or Leap Motion, developers can easily build a wide variety of applications for the robot according to the product video. The Sevenbot will be funded on November 7th and will retail for $350 when it comes to market. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is for breast cancer awareness and you can win a pink Linksys Wi-Fi router from Crave. Go to the blog and enter to win.